everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, and about Monday, um, our internet connection totally went out, so that's why we lost the screen. If that happens again in the future, um, and hopefully it won't, but you know how technology is. Um, you guys are really sweet to text and call me, but I won't see those because I never look at my phone unless I'm looking at music. So um, just turn your mute off and just say, hey, Mary Beth, the screen is out. So that's the best way to handle that in the future. Although you guys were sweet to try to help and everybody was texting and stuff. So that's really sweet. But I, again, I won't see that. So um, yeah, just go to turn your mute off so I can hear you and just tell me. So with that, let's go ahead and start. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you. You can lie on your back or you can stay seated. So um, today and, and Friday, we're going to be going through Psalm 91. And Psalm 91 is just a fabulous psalm. It's actually called the Soldier's Psalm because in World, World War II, um, there's just all kinds of stories actually behind that. But one of them, the most prominent one, is that in World War II, there was a brigade, the 91st Brigade, and the commander had the soldiers read Psalm 91 every day. And the story goes that they went through all these battles and they were all protected from harm. So um, pretty cool. But it is an amazing psalm. So I'll go ahead and um, be reading the first half of that uh, to you today, and then we'll read the second half on um, Friday. It says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. So just um, praying this prayer of protection over us today, this beautiful psalm. We need protection from the pestilence, right? So with that, lie on your back if you're not already lying on your back. And we'll get going with our stretching and our breathing. So we'll just start with three deep breaths here, breathing in deeply. Big release with that exhale. And let's take two more big breaths in. Filling up belly, filling up lungs, really letting go with the exhale. All right, beautiful job, you guys. Stretch it all the way back. Take that big upside down Superman pose. Reach back, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, bring your right leg in. Fingers interlaced at your lower right leg. Squeeze that right leg into your body. As you exhale out all the air. And then release that a little bit away from the body. Keep the knee bent and just drop that right leg out to the right side. So open it up, bring it back in. Open up that right hip, bring it back in, and we'll do that one more time. See if you can go a little farther on this third one. Open it up a little bit more, then bring it back in. Lengthen the right leg out, take those arms overhead. We'll go back to that upside down Superman stretch, reaching back, lengthening your spine with your breath in. And with your exhale, bringing the left leg in. Fingers interlaced at your lower left leg, squeezing that left leg into the body. And then gently releasing just a little bit away from the body, taking your left hand to your left knee, opening that left leg out to the left side. So working into that left hip, bring it back up. And we'll do that two more times. Let it drop out to the left side, open up that left hip. Bring it back in, 
One more time. Open up that left side. A little bit farther, maybe. And bring it back in. All right, extend that left leg out. Arms back last time. Big breath, big stretch. Point your toes, reach. And exhale, bring both knees in. Squeeze both legs into the chest. This time with your hands on your knees, both knees. We're going to make some nice big circles with our knees, touching your big toes side by side. Just really work into some nice big circles into your hips. Using your breath as you move, we'll take one more. And we'll gently reverse. Slowly moving into those hips. Nice big circles. Let's take two more here. Bring it back into center. Take your left leg out. Take your right leg high. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Draw that right leg in. Flex your right foot. Get that really nice stretch in the back of your leg. If you want to lift your head up towards your knee, you can do that. You know, nice rounding in your back here. Keep your right foot flexed. Keep breathing wherever you are. So if you've got your head up, really think about dropping the belly down. Just hollow out that belly. And if that head is up, we'll go ahead and take it down. And we'll just point and flex here a few times. Point and flex, nice and strong. Stretching out the foot, the ankle, and a couple circles. And gently reverse. Nice job, you guys. Bring it back into center. Gently float the right leg down, left leg comes high. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Draw that left leg in, send your left heel up towards the sky, draw your left toes down. Really lengthening into the back of the leg. Keep breathing, and if you want to, bring your head up towards your knee. You don't have to, but if you want to get that rounding in your spine, dropping the belly down. Keep breathing. All right, if your head is up, go ahead and gently bring that head back to the mat. And then we'll point and flex that left foot. So again, just starting to work into the foot and the ankle. And then bring it into center and we'll circle that a couple of times. And then just gently reverse. Nice job, you guys. Bring it back into center. Gently float that left leg down. Find your bridge pose. We're gonna go into a modified bridge today. So bring your feet together and your knees wide. It's a little bit different positioning. And go ahead and lift up. You'll see how it feels different. You can't go quite as far. But hold here for just a breath. Okay, so feet are together, knees wide. You're pressing your palms down. And then we'll gently lower down. Just slowly, as we always do with control, bring your spine down to your mat. And we'll do that a few more times. So go ahead and lift up, and then we'll just lower here. Gently bring your spine to your mat. Let's go two more times. Lift up, and gently lower. You can see it feels a little different than our regular bridge. You're getting a little different stretch in those hips. Lift up. Gently lower, and we'll do it one more time. Being aware of your breath, lifting up, inhale. Exhale, lower down. All right, bring your knees together, draw your knees into your chest. So nice, we'll just rock a little bit here. Left and right, left and right. And then bring it back into center. Rock forward and back. Take your hands behind your knees. Rock forward and back. Make it little. And then make it bigger and bigger. Until you're all the way up. 
they come up nice and tall. All right, so sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take our legs staggered. So your heel, your toes to your heel. Take toes to heel so your legs are staggered. Take a big breath up, inhale, and exhale down. And do that one more time. Big breath up, inhale. Lengthen your spine up, and exhale down. All right, so one more breath here. This time we're gonna fold forward. Take it up, fold over. Bring the body down, slide your hands forward. See how far you can go with this. This might feel kind of intense in your hips, so just be careful. Go where you can go with it. Take a couple more breaths here. Great job, you guys. Come on up. So switch your feet so the opposite foot is in front. So toes to heel. Big breath up. Drop it down. Exhale. So we're going to take two more breaths up. Inhale up. Lengthen the spine up. And exhale. And then one more time. Big breath up here. And this is your forward fold. Dropping the body down, bringing the hands to the ground, sliding the fingers forward. You're looking down. See how this feels. Keep breathing. All right, a couple more breaths here. guys come on up all right so we're down our neck and shoulders I'm going to turn sideways for you so we're going to take the left wrist split over to the right behind your back and drop an ear to your shoulder and then drop your other ear to your other shoulder and then bring it back into center and circle your head one big circle, one slow circle. And then reverse, one big slow circle. Bring it back into center. Interlace your fingers behind your back, pull those hands up away from the ground, squeeze your shoulder blades together, drop your shoulders, and then lean back, open up the chest, bring the chin high, and then we'll bring it back into center. So now take your hands to the other side, to the other side of your waist. We'll drop an ear to the shoulder, and go the opposite way, ear to shoulder. Bring your head back in the center and take one nice big circle with your head. Really slow. And gently reverse. And bring it back in the center. So bring those hands back in the center and we'll do that shoulder stretch again. So bring your hands away from the Ground and then when you're ready, leaning back, lifting the chin, dropping the shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades together. One more breath here. All right, go ahead and release. So come on back into center. And we'll take a big breath up, inhale. And float the arms down with your exhale. Take your legs in butterfly. Take your hands under the legs. So butterfly or diamond, whichever one you want to do today, whichever one feels better. Slide those hands under, palms facing down. Look down, round your back here, and we'll take five deep breaths.
All right, great job, you guys. Go ahead and come on up. So come on to your knees. We're going to sit Japanese style. If that doesn't work for you, take your body up. Either way is fine. And you can tuck your toes here. So either sitting down on your heels. And another option is if you want to sit on your heels, Japanese style, you can always prop a block underneath. And that will give you some extra push. So you've got some choices there. So we're going to lean back. And we're going to lift the heart space, but also lift those thighs, lift those quadriceps, getting a nice stretch there. You get a back bend here. So if your body is up, just support your back. Okay, and lean back. All the way back. You want to feel this in the thighs and the quadriceps. Okay, so either way, take another breath or two wherever you're at. And that nice stretch into your quads, lifting the chest. And then we'll come back into center. And we'll all come with our hips up over our knees. Take a big breath up here. Bring your hands together in prayer and drop it down. And one more time, big breath up, inhale. Hands together in prayer, drop it down. So we're going to do that one more time. So again, either stay here and lean back with your hands supporting your low back. Or if you want to bring the hips to the heels, sitting all the way back. So we're opening the chest, lifting those hips, or pressing the hips forward. We're going to take another breath or two here. Make sure you're respecting the neck here. Don't do anything uncomfortable. Bring it back into center. All right. Nice job, you guys. Find your way onto your into your tabletop. Wrists below shoulders, knees below hips. Take a few seconds to get there. Fingers spread wide. Toes are tucked. We're going to take the right leg out, making that nice kickstand on the side. And then extend your left leg all the way out so your left toes are lined up with your right knee. Left arm is high. Nice big stretch up. Look up to your left hand. We'll circle the left hand a few times. And reverse. Bring it back into center and then float that left arm down. So it's reaching forward. Getting that really nice stretch down the left side of your body. Nice job. And then take that left arm all the way up. Make one big circle and go the opposite way. Big circle. Back to your tabletop. Let your hips sway a little bit here. Just pressing your hips out to the left and to the right with your head hanging in the center. Just releasing the neck. And then we'll bring it back in the center and we'll go the other way. So make your kickstand. Send your right leg out. Sorry, that would be your left leg. So bringing that opposite arm up nice and strong, palm facing away from you. You're looking up towards that top hand. We're going to circle that a few times. Nice job, you guys. Reverse. Spread out those fingers. All right, and then float that arm down so your fingers are reaching forward, getting that really nice stretch down the side of your body. Okay, keep breathing. You guys are doing great. Take a big circle with that top arm. One nice big slow circle. And we'll gently reverse. All right, way to go. Find your way back into your tabletop. And gently press your hips out side to side as you let your head hang in the center. Keep that belly drawn up and stay with your breath. All right, let's bring it back into center. So working into our neck a little bit more, taking some big yeses with your head. Be very intentional here. 
Really pressing the chin down towards the chest when you bring it in. And then lifting the chin as you bring it out. Bring it into center and we'll go for our nose. So taking your head side to side, just slowly look over each shoulder. Bring it back into center and we'll do some more yeses. Nice and big. Just working into that neck. And take one more. All right, bring your hands forward, and we're going to come into a nice big up dog. So extending all the way up, lengthening the spine, really press the hands into the ground, stretch out the front side of the body, bring the chin up, and then bring that chin down, and look down, dropping the chin all the way down. All right, let's find our way into our tabletop. We're gonna come into our cow. So tilting your pelvis out, taking your head up, belly is down, and then finding a nice strong pat. Exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale to your cow. And exhale to your cat. And this time we're gonna round and then lift the knees off the mat and find your downward facing dog. So come all the way into downward facing dog. Just checking in with your hands and your feet, your shoulders. Notice where you're looking. Try to get your ears by your biceps. Root those feet down. Press the heels towards the ground. Let's gently pedal it out. Walk it out. And then push into your left foot, take your right leg high, bend your knee, take your knee to nose, round your back, exhale. Inhale, take it up, two more times, round the back, exhale. Inhale, take it up, and one more time, nice big rounding in the back. Inhale, take that right leg high, drop the right leg down, find your way back into your tabletop, Find your cow, that's your inhale. Exhale round for cat. And we'll do that again, inhale for cow. Belly down, tilting pelvis out. Tuck it under, stay here in your cat. We're gonna lift the knees off the ground again, go for that downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and pedal it out, walk it out, left and right. Always being mindful of your breath. Do that left side. Push into your right foot. Left leg high. Knee to nose. Round your back. Exhale. Inhale. Take that left leg high. And two more times. Knee to nose. Exhale. Round the back. Left leg high. One more time. Knee to nose. Inhale. That left leg high. Left leg is down. Walk it out. Pull out your heels. Step it out nice and easy. And then taking your legs outside your mat, walk your hands to your feet. And then flip the hands around. Keep walking back behind you. So walk those fingers back as far as you can. Look behind you. Get that nice stretch into the back of your legs and your back. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Release the neck. Walk the hands to center. Take a deep bend in your left knee. Stretch out the right side. Nice deep stretch there. You guys are doing great. Let's come center. Go the other way. Bend that opposite knee, get that nice stretch. From center, let's do that again. Bend the knee. Come center. 
And go the opposite way. Bend that knee. Bring it center, walk over to that left leg, bring your body to your left leg, look at your left leg. Get that nice stretch there, just find something that feels really good here. And then we'll go the other way, walk over to the opposite leg, bring the body to that leg, look at the leg. Helps when that's your goal, you look at it, that way you can draw the body in maybe a little bit more. All right, back into center. Walk your hands forward. And we'll do a big heel lifter here. Stretch out your feet, heels high. Drop those heels down, push your hips back. And we'll do one more time. Big inhale, bring those heels high. Stretch those feet and exhale. Heels down. All right, bring your feet in for your downward facing dog. Push into your left foot, right leg comes high. Right foot forward, runner's lunge. Get some movement here, forward and back, forward and back. And then come center, drop your left knee, sit back for your half splits. So pull your right toes back, fold over. So the right toes are pulling back towards the right knee. We'll stay here for a breath. And then think about pivoting on that heel, that right heel. So we're going to just turn those toes a little to the left. Just getting a little stretch on the outside of that leg and then turn that foot the other way. So we're pivoting on that heel. So let's do that one more time. Bring your foot center. You're just pivoting the foot on the heel. Turn it in and then turn it out. Look at some of those outer muscles. Bring it back into center. We'll go back into our runner's lunge. Push off with your back foot. Have it come up to meet your front foot. Hands to your lower legs. Look up halfway. Inhale. Exhale, fold in. Come all the way up with rounded back. And heavy arms and take a big breath up. And exhale down. Take it all the way high. Bring your hands in a big fist. Stretch it over to the right side. Look to the left, step under that left arm. Come center, go the other way. Arms to the left, look up under that right arm. Bring it center, take it back then. So lengthen up first, really stretch that spine and then take those hands back. Put that big fist back, pushing the hips forward, bringing the gaze up, really rooting down into your feet. Be mindful of your breath. Bring it back into center. We'll take a big swan dive down. Walk it back through your downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Three legged dog, left foot forward, runner's lunge. Moving forward and back, and forward and back. back into your runner's lunge. Right knee comes down. We're going to half split. So pulling those left toes straight back towards your knee is where we'll start. Folding over. Such a lovely hamstring stretch here. Those of us with tight hamstrings, this is a wonderful stretch. All right, so now think about pivoting on that foot. Turn your foot in. Turn your toes and foot in, and then turn it out. It's just a little movement, but just working some different muscles in that left leg. So let's do that again. Turn the toes in, and turn those toes out. And bring it back into center. All right, so back into your runner's lunge. And left leg back. Oops, sorry. Right foot forward went the wrong way. Right foot forward, hands to your lower legs, look at halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Round the back, heavy arms, rise up strong, big breath. Take it down, exhale. Take it all the way back up with the inhale. We'll take those hands in a big fist, take it over to the side, get a nice stretch as you exhale. Bring it center, go the other way. Stretching out that side body. 
kicking up under the arm. Bring it back into center. We'll go to the back bend. Taking the gaze up. Really extending up through that big fist. Right? You want to extend here as you gently push the hips forward. Receiving that nice back bend. Always breathing. And then back into center. Big swan dive down. Walk your legs back through your downward facing dog. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's push into that left foot. Right leg comes high. Bend your right knee, stack your hips, drop your right foot behind you, open up that right side. Really push your hands into the mat. We tend to want to collapse a little bit here. Push the hands into the mat, push it away, stay lifted. And then we'll bring the right knee down. Find warrior one position. Flip out your back foot, rise up strong. Warrior one. All right, so drop your hands into prayer. So we're going to go to warrior three. I know we're on, a lot of us are on cushy carpet. That's okay. Just do your best. Push off with your back foot. Keep that front knee bent until you get that left leg high, and then try to straighten that front leg. Bringing the body down, left leg high. You're looking at the ground. You're breathing. You're focusing. Then we'll bend that front leg and we'll come back into our warrior one, nice and strong. All right, that wasn't so bad, right? Let's drop our hands to our waist. Bring your body down, look down, stay here. Nice flat back. Drop your right hand down, left arm high for your side angle stretch. Looking up. All right, so rise back up to your warrior one, nice and strong. Hands come to the mat. Right leg comes back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your flow here, finding your plank. Lower down. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And exhale to your downward facing dog. All right, you guys are doing great. Remember, you can always... Always take a child's pose if you need to for any reason. If you want to just take a break or whatever. Always available. Push into your right foot. Left leg high. Bend the left knee. Stack those hips. Draw the left knee towards the sky. Left foot is flexed. Push the ground away. Stay lifted. Stay strong. Keep breathing. Drop that knee, find your warrior one, left foot to your left hand, rise up strong. All right, you guys are doing great. Drop those hands to prayer. So now we're gonna go for that warrior three, so no sweat, just kinda see how you can best push off and bring that right leg up. And then we straighten that left leg, we bring the body down. Those hands at heart center, right leg high. Keep breathing, keep focusing. Then we'll bend that left knee, come back to your warrior one. Rise up strong. Bring your hands to your waist, bring your body down, look down. Take a breath here, nice strong core. And then we'll go into our side angle stretch with our left hand down and our right arm high. Right palm facing away. Always breathing. You guys are doing awesome. Find your way back up to your warrior one. Sink in. Hands to the mat. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. So go ahead and go to your child's pose or take your flow, whichever one you want, however you take it. Just protecting their shoulders. Nice, strong core. And then we're all in child's pose. Knees wide, head on the mat, breathing. Catch your breath. Water if you need it. Fabulous job, everybody. Way to go. 
strengthening that body. So I'm going to read the next section of Psalm 91. It says, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness. So, verses are so appropriate for our time and the circumstances that we are going through. Such a wonderful, comforting psalm. So just soak that up for a little bit here. Knowing that we don't have to fear the terror of night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Four or five more breaths here. One more breath. Find your way in your upward facing dog. Lengthening the spine up, stretching up, lifting that chest. And then just gently rock a little bit here, working into the shoulders. Take it side to side. Bring it back into center, tuck your toes, lift for your downward facing dog. Let's take our legs wide. Let's do a couple heel lifters here. Bring those heels high and then drop them down with your exhale. And one more time, bring them high, draw the belly in. Drop them down with your exhale. Bring those feet back in, downward facing dog. Right leg comes high. And we'll bend the knee and stack the hips. We're going to go for that warrior one again. So drop the knee down. Find your warrior one nice and strong. Rise up. This time we're not going to do warrior three. We're going to take the arms out, palms up. Sorry, thumbs up. Thumbs up. And we're going to helicopter around to the left. Look left. Do that nice twist. Bring it back in the center. Helicopter over to the other side. Bring it back into center. Bring the arms forward. Bring the arms high. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. Framing the face. Take a little stretch to the right. Center. Go the other way. Bring it back into center. Release the arms to warrior one. Hands to the mat. Right leg back. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your flow, whatever way you like to take it. Lowering down to bottom of a push-up. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Draw the left knee towards the sky. And then warrior one. Left foot to your left hand. Flip out that back foot. Arms high, shoulders squared forward. 
sinking into your pose. Nice job. Drop those arms out, thumbs up. Twist over to the right, look to the right. Go the other way, all the way around. Helicopter those arms all the way around. Look left. Go back into center, bring the arms forward, bring the arms high, back to warrior one. Grab opposite hand to opposite elbow. Take a little stretch over to the side, stretching out the side body. From center, go the other way. And bring it into center. And release the arms to warrior one. Hands to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your vinyasa or maybe just a plank. I shouldn't say just a plank, planks are hard. <laughs> take whatever you like here. And you can always take that child's pose. All right, so all of us are gonna go into our child's pose now. And rest with the head on the mat. One. And all of the songs today are also psalms. They're all different psalms by a group called Shane and Shane. Really beautiful songs. So the next portion of Psalm 91. Let's see, we left off. It says, nor the pestilence that stops in darkness. The next part says, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Well, we don't like talking about the wicked a lot, but it's in there. <laughs> so, We do not have to fear the terror of the night or the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. The Psalm is a great place to just live. Every day, just reading this psalm, just like the soldiers did in World War II, reading the psalm every day, just asking God for protection, and just living in that protection. So let's breathe here. Four or five more breaths. your belly. We're going to go for our spine strengtheners. We're going to start with our arms out for our airplane pose. Legs come together, toes together. So zip up those legs like you got a zipper there. Just zip them up nice and tight. And then we're going to take everything we can up. It's like we're going into flight. you are launching here. So bring those legs as far away from the ground as you can. Arms up. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Keep breathing. Make those little adjustments as you go. Maybe to get a little bit more off the ground. Take 
one more breath in and as you do that see if you can lift the chest up a little bit more and then release exhale side of your face to your mat arms to your sides relax Take another breath or two here. Chin comes to the mat, so let's do it again. Arms out, airplane, when you're ready, nice and strong, bring it up. That lovely back bend, pulling the chest up away from the ground. Notice where you're looking, make that work for your neck. Okay, pointing your toes, keep those legs together, at least by the big toes, keep them together, keep breathing. One more breath in, see if you can come up a little bit more. And then we'll release with the exhale, other side of your face to your mat, arms to your sides. Release. Take another breath or two here. Bring your chin to the mat, gently press up and find your way to your back. All right, good job everybody. Come all the way to the back. We're gonna start in our Half of a happy baby or upside down runner's lunge, whatever you want to call it. Really drop that right knee down on the right side of your body. You're working in the back of this right leg. Some of those inner groin muscles and some of the muscles in the back of the leg. Really dropping that knee down. Okay, keep your left side anchored. We'll take a few breaths here. All right, way to go. Release. Bring your left leg in. Your left knee is bent. Bring your right foot or ankle to your left leg. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Draw that left leg in. And you can use your right elbow to send the right leg away. circle that left foot. Take one more and then gently reverse. Bring it back into center. Release that left leg out to the mat. Take your right knee over the left side of the body for your twist. Right arm is out. Look to your right hand. Nice gentle spinal twist. you feel here continue with your breath and if you do have your left hand on your right leg don't put any pressure around the knee just anywhere else on that leg but not around the knee one or two more breaths here in your twist little breaths Gently unwind, right knee out to the right side, open up the right side. So going into that nice hip opener here. Keeping the left side anchored. We'll take a few breaths in your hip opener. And make sure to find the angle on that right leg that works for you. You can always play with it. One 
one more breath here. And we'll bring that right leg in. Gently extend the right leg out to the mat. Bring your left leg in. And we'll go into that half a happy baby. Upside down runner's lunge, taking the arch of the foot, dropping the knee on the left side of the body. See how far down you can get it. And don't do it on the body. You won't be able to go very far. Make sure it's on the left side of your body. In the back of that leg. Keep the right side down. Keep your neck long. Keep your chin up. Noticing your breath. All right, way to go, you guys. Take another breath or two here. Keep dropping it down. And then we'll bring that right leg in. Left foot or ankle to your right leg. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Draw it in. Press out that left side with your left elbow if you want to. Let's circle that right foot. And reverse. Bring it back into center. Really gently extend the right leg out. Find your twist. Left leg over the right side. Look left. Pull the belly in. Always good to get that stretch into your spine, that spinal twist. A lot of really great stretches going on in your back, around your spine when you do this twist. Also good for your internal organs, is what they say. So let's take another couple of breaths here in your twist. And then we'll unwind, bring it all back into center and then letting your left knee fall out to your left side your hip opener, anchoring down the right side, shoulders are squared, chin is up, you're breathing. This song is actually from Psalm 91. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Let's take a few more breaths in our hip opener. Let's bring that left knee in. So bring the right knee in. Let's rock a little bit here any way you want. Left and right or circles or just whatever feels good here. Then we'll go into our happy baby. Taking both the arches, drawing the knees down. This feels vaguely familiar, right? We just did half of a happy baby on each side. So gently find some movement. Just gently rocking very slowly. Our refuge. All right, let's take it three or four more. Maybe extend the leg out to each side if you want to. Bring it back into center. Squeeze it in. Stretch it all the way back. Lengthen. 
Come into your upside down Superman. Point your toes, reach back. Exhale, knees in, hands behind your knees, knees to your head, head to your knees. One more time, all the way back. Big breath, big stretch. Keep your hands in prayer. Press palms together, point your toes. Stay here and breathe. One more breath. Really stretch. Exhale. Knees in, hands behind knees, knees to head, head to knees. Really. Walk your legs all the way up. Take your legs wide. Arms to your sides, palms up. He's holding you in the palm of his hands. Let's take one big final cleansing breath here, breathing in deeply. And really releasing big. Just allowing God to hold you in the palms of his hands. Letting go. Completely letting go. Releasing the toes and the feet. Any tension or stress, just let it go. Releasing the lower legs and the upper legs. All the way up to your hips. Just release and let it go. Releasing the fingers and the hands. And relax, just let them go. Releasing the lower arms all the way up into your upper arms, all the way up to your shoulders. Just release the arms, let them go. Focus to your body, belly, hips, chest, outside of the body. Just let it release and let go as you breathe. Softly in and softly out. Releasing your back. Your glute muscles, your tailbone, your lower back. Your mid back and your upper back. Just relax and let go. Release all the way up to your neck. Just follow that spine all the way up to the neck, the cervical spine, releasing the neck, the sides of the neck, the front and the back of the neck, all around the neck, up into your jaw, releasing the jaw, the tongue, the mouth, just relax and let it go. Just 
Release your facial muscles, cheeks, muscles around the eyes, forehead. Just relax the face and let it go. Release the head. Top of the head, the back of the head, the ears. That is very heavy. Just release it and let it go. Come back to your breath. of Psalm 91 to you as you relax, as you breathe. In verse 9 it says, If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. I love that. No disaster will come near your tent. So much reassurance in Psalm 91. So much comfort. So much wisdom. And it just helps us release our fears. Fears about the future. Fears about what tomorrow will bring. And it helps us just focus on God's loving hand of protection over us. Let's breathe here, relax, and reflect on these beautiful verses of protection and refuge. Let's bring back some movement slowly. You can clench your fists and then open up your hands or wiggle your fingers. You can curl your toes and then straighten them out or just wiggle your toes, just whatever you like. Roll over to your side. Stay there for a breath or two. All the way up. All right, wonderful job. Let's finish up with our prayer. So we'll bow our heads. Nice job, you guys. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father God, what a gift Psalm 91 is. Lord God, thank you this reassurance and this comfort 
in these crazy times that we're living in, God. We're thankful for this soldier's psalm that you've given the world long ago. God, I thank you for my beautiful students, and I pray this practice has blessed them internally and externally from top to bottom, inside out, and that they just keep their eyes fully focused on you, God, right now, today, and always. Thank you, God. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for loving us that much to take the punishment of our sins. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It's in your holy and very precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, way to go. Nice job, everybody. Hope to see you on Friday. Hope you're doing stuff to stay cool. Hopefully you have a pool. We don't, but that's okay. We're going up north on Friday, so we'll see you on Friday, hopefully. And um, yeah, if you guys ever have any questions, comments, suggestions, always feel free to email me or um, text me or call me or whatever. So thanks, you guys. Hi, Kathy. Oh, and Mackenzie and Krista. Hi. Hey, guys.